Hey, it's Dan from TradeTrader.net with a recap for February 20th, 2020. Today, um, just a handful of trades, one loser, all the rest were winners. I'm not going to waste any time. Here is the live footage now. I'm putting a bid on, oh, mid 80s. I'm bidding O to buy mid 80s. I got filled. I got filled. I'm long O mid 80s. I'm going to sell 8150. My stop is now break even. I'm out half O for a point. Okay, oh, last half, I'm at plus two. Okay, oh, my stop is now below 81. Hi right, guys, I got hit, oh, I'm out the rest of 40 cents. Guys, I'm short some SEDG 135, 28 average. Short SEDG, short SEDG. I got filled one half SEDG plus one. Now my stop loss in SEDG is break even. I'm going to cover one fourth for plus two and one fourth for plus three. I'm at 133.28 and 132.28. I got filled partial for plus two. All right, out SEDG plus three, all the rest. Plus two, plus three, done. SEDG all done. PCRX is a short tier for a point to 70 cents, but I'm waiting, I'm waiting though. Okay, so those were our trades that were recorded for today. Let's get into our loser now. We had uh, three winners, one loser. So LB, we got short at 24.40. And the reason why was we were shorting against the prior day high and the prior day close, which coincided with each other after a gap down, hitting mid 20s, opening the day, low 20s, and then pushing up 22.50, 23.50, 23.50, 24.50 into the prior day's closing price and prior day high. The idea here was that anybody who was long the prior days was going to take profits or sell for break even or near a small gain or small loss when they came back into the prior day's close, prior day high, and prior day's range. So I got short 24.40. And what happened was my risk was on a hold above 24.60. If you look over here, um, on a hold above, why is this? On the hold above 2460, if it went and held above the prior days, again, high and close, I would take off the trade for a 20 cent loss. Okay, so um, what happened was though that I got short at 2440 and it was approaching the level and the volume was holding pretty steady. I look at this, the volume was holding up pretty steady. Um, what I wanted to see was the volume drop off. Like I saw the volume dropping off, that was nice, but then what happened was right after I got filled, 
The volume picked back up half a million shares in two minutes with the pressure to the upside. So I took off the majority at 24.54 just to save myself 10 cents as it did feel like it was going to approach that 24.60 and stop me out. So I already knew that um, if I kept my full size, I would have been taken out above 24.60 due to the fact that it was holding and pushing up higher with the volume increasing. So I might as well save myself 10 cents and take it off before it hits me and takes me out. But what I did do was save a piece just in case it poked above and came back below because sometimes as as you guys know uh, the breakouts actually most of the time the breakouts do fail but due to the fact that it was so extended um again i was okay with holding a piece to see if it would come above and come back below which it did which at that point i was covering my last piece for a 25 cent gain in the 24 15s to offset some of that loss so lb it worked out if you took it and held it would have made 40 to 50 cents um some members actually had a nice day on lb alone but for me it was it was a loser here's the pnl over here and the trade that made all the money today was SDGR. So SDGR, this was on the Citron tweet. Let me bring this up real fast. Um, SDGR, Citron mentioned how SDGR is the most important IPO in the past five years, taking drug discovery to a space age. The parallels to an early stage Tesla are too obvious to ignore. Don't take Citron's word. Look at majority shareholders. AI, molecular simulation is real disruption. Target $80. Okay, so when this came out at 9.02 a.m. Pacific, I saw that, I got the alert, and I just pressed buy, 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 buy. I literally spammed buy, 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 buy. I just pressed buy, 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 I pressed buy, I, like I think I pressed buy literally 10 times in a row. I pressed buy, 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 buy. I bought, 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 I just kept buying. I bought, I literally bought so much that I lost count. I just bought a lot. And within a minute, I was up over 30 grand and I sold it. So I made this much money within one minute on SDGR. It was way too fast to alert the room. I was on the go and I just pressed buy, 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 buy. Um, Citron, if you aren't following them, you have to follow them. Alerts on. When they alert something, look at it. If it makes sense, just take it. Take as much as you can. That's all I'm going to say. Now, if I held this for even just 42, I would have made $100,000. Um, so yeah, it is what it is though. I, I'm okay with this, not a problem, but it's funny to see how I sold it at um, 38 and it went to 46, 48, uh, 10 points after I sold. Uh, anyways, guys, I will see you tomorrow morning. Have a wonderful night. And just before I go real fast, honorable mention, SQ, whoever got that off the 81 level, Congratulations, we called 81s long in the room. Uh, some members got 81.12, 81.20, and 80.8. Here are the chat logs right here. And that was a nice bounce. The calls actually went up over 400%. So whoever got that, congrats. We don't just randomly add, add, add lower. Uh, any noob is gonna buy this on dips and just add, 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 and puke it out below 82, right? What we do is we wait for the emotional extensions, patience, 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 boom. Here's the peak into our level take a long backup for the quick, predictable bounce. So whoever caught that, congratulations. And the last honorable mention was ES, whoever trades futures, ES called 3370 to 3375, a short in the room ahead of time when it was in the 60s. So whoever got that, we have made over 10 points on that trade, pretty nice, even on the intraday over here. But if you held into after hours, had a nice dump for just 20 points from the 75 level. I mean, if you got that, congrats as well. I'm not sure if anybody took that, but it was called in the room ahead of time. And if you did take that, well, again, congrats. That's a humongous trade. That's all, guys. Wish you all a wonderful night. I'll see you tomorrow morning.